Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here. So, you're wanting to do the expedition, right? And you decided to go through all these videos online from many different con content creators on YouTube in order to determine the best way to go ahead and do it. Well, my way is probably not the best way. And you're probably looking at my character right now and saying, wait a second, he isn't even in the expedition. How is he possibly doing a video about the expedition? Well, it's because I wanted to start here in my regular save. Now, you're thinking, oh, okay, he's going to go to the anomaly and he's going to go to the terminal there. No, not going to actually do that, but I do want to show you a little something. In your inventory of your main save, you have a multi-tool, usually a whole selection of multi-tools that are in your collection. In my case, I have selected a multi-tool in my regular save that's a really decent multi-tool. In this case, it happens to have four supercharged slots right in the line with each other right here. Fantastic, right? Well, by going to your regular save first and equipping yourself with this multi-tool, getting a save point, and then exiting back to the main menu allows you to start an expedition in a new save that will give you the same slot layout as your multi-tool in your regular save. So as we start our expedition, you see the timer on the side of the screen. This expedition can be completed in under two hours. Now, how fast it can be completed is another story. The current record at this particular point in time on this date, the 27th of July at 4 p.m., is one hour and 40 minutes as done by Jason from Jason Plays. That's a fantastic time. I scratched my head and couldn't figure out how we did it. I even watched it and... Well, Jason can get things done really quickly. Now, the timer on your screen is going to be regular time. It does not quite match in-game time. So anytime you're in a situation like right now, this does not count towards in-game time as everything starts up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this game, and we're going to see if we can get it done in two hour, in under two hours in in-game time. How far over two hours will we go regular time? Who knows? There's a few things you want to remember to do while you're on your first planet. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to be reminding myself of things that I need to do while I'm here. Your conditions on this planet are really, really nice. You don't usually have any storms or anything you need to worry about. So get things done while you can that you can get done under peaceful conditions. Now, so far, I've started in a different place every single time. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the multi-tool here in just a moment. There we go. And I don't mind taking an extra few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and move some stuff in my inventory down to another spot just to get it out of the way. Also, we're going to give our jetpack a little boost. I'm going to keep my shields over here and match things up. And I'm going to put my life support in a spot that I can actually add stuff to it at some point. Same thing with my jetpack right here. That looks good. When we go to the multi-tool, remember those four slots? There they are. So what are we going to do here? We're going to stick our scatter blaster in here. The shell greaser doesn't do well in that slot. We'll show you why. Okay, so there's a better arrangement. Let me show you what happens. See? It really doesn't do anything for you. But if you put it here next to him, you get a better... You get better power out of it. So we're going to leave this slot open for now. I'm going to line up my terrain manipulator. My analysis visor along the top to get it out of the way. My paralysis mortar, because we're not going to get any upgrades for it. And we're going to leave these two open just a little bit. Okay, we've got everything ready to go. Let's get moving. Now, we don't usually want to do that from the get-go, but we need several different items as we go through this. We're going to need hazardous plants. Go ahead and grab some while you can. And you'll notice that the resources you pick up from these are unlike other, other runs. You'll see there that it gave me almost 200 oxygen. 250. So two hazardous plants done, and I've got 300 oxygen out of that. Unbelievable. One of your other expedition rewards that you need to, or pardon me, milestones that you need to do is not only um, getting the hazardous plants, but you do need to gather up 900 resources at some point. So go ahead and select it, choose an area that has resources, and you just want to try to get it in one burst, it says. It's a little bit lenient on it, so you can be a little bit uh, sketchy with it. But if you look at the bottom right, carbon is going to be your friend in gathering those resources for the most part. 
You do need a lot of carbon in this game. You're also going to need rocks. You're going to need plenty of ferrite dust. Go ahead and grab some of that too. Just keep your laser going for the most part. And try to aim at different items that you can pick up. If you have to recharge, if you do it quick enough, you can usually keep the count going. So I'm going to keep going here. There we go. We're all about halfway done. Now I noticed that something here, if we can get these guys going too, we don't really need those, but we'll gather them anyway. There we go, we're at 600 now. I think we accidentally hit that, uh... Yep, it's still counting, see? So even though we had to recharge, it still worked. I wanted to show you at least that much. And if you picked up enough carbon along the way, it's really not going to cause you much of a slowdown. Alright. Almost got as much carbon as I could possibly stand. Almost there. I think one more plant ought to do it. And there it is. Alright, achievement made. Now, we do need some copper at some point. We'll be getting that in just a little bit. As you can see, we're already at our ship. Please switch over to your weapon, your scatter blaster, and get ready for them. Go ahead and take them out. It's another achievement you need. They do hit pretty hard. I think they may have upgraded. They might have understood or heard everybody complaining about the fact that, oh, they're really wimpy. Well, the last, uh, last time that uh, we had a quick update I guess bug update if you will they updated the bugs so nice thanks everybody appreciate it thanks for complaining <laughs> and you should be able to get your achievement there you go 16 That's all we needed to get and we are near the ship so it should should give us the reward once the buy uh, the the horrors and they unswarm, if you will. There we go. And uh, we should get our achievement right about now. There we go. Okay. So, we're here. Let's go into our inventory and collect our rewards. We could use all of them, to be honest. Especially this one. What I like to do is I like to fill in the gaps. This is a little OCD of me, but it does work for me. And then, there we go. So we got our inventory pretty much in looking in good shape. I'm going to move this over. And before we do anything further, we got some stones we need to undo. There we go. So we got some magnetized ferrite in our inventory and some regular ferrite dust. I need a lot more ferrite at this point, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right. We also have some nice resources that we're going to be using later on. Let's go ahead and repair the ship and get things moving along. So we need a hermetic seal and a, me and a metal plate. Let's get the, hermet get the plate real quick. We do need condensed carbon, so let's go ahead and make our... Portable refiner real quick. Drop a little bit of carbon in. And get some regular carbon here too. And that should be more than enough. We'll get that moving along. So while that way we can make our hermetic seal. We have a dihydrogen jelly already in our inventory. We're going to use it. We're going to use our repair kit that we've been given to repair that. So the last thing left we need is hermetic seal and one more metal plate. So we'll get the metal plate put in. Right about now, this should be just about halfway done. There we go. I'll pick up some of the resources so I can use them. And we'll make our hermetic seal. Again, remember I said we do need copper, so we're going to be getting that soon. All right, let's move some stuff around. There we go. Looking good. Anything in here we want to put over there? Not yet. All right, and I'm going to make a little bit of extra ammunition because we have some things we're going to do later. Now I'm going to pick this up because I always leave things behind. The ship is now repaired and ready for our use. So let's take a look around. I'm going to look for copper. Paraffinium. Copper at 724. Let me highlight it. Salt. Copper at 454. That's closer. More paraffinium. Salt. Paraffinium. Copper at 488. Okay, 
why don't we go for the copper at 488 we're gonna actually run this but before we do you notice you have a cave nearby here uh, switch back over to your mining beam and grab a little bit if you can if this is the kind of cave that'll let you get it uh, not only the hazardous plants because you know obviously you got that achievement made you got to get 16 of these guys I believe but get some cobalt you only need about three maybe four of these stalactites and stalagmites you see I already got 117 get about 200 if you can that should be more than enough it's 180 but it should be more than enough look for any more plants that you can get up oh, there's some over there and we and you're not gonna have any problem getting your hazardous flora taken care of throughout this expedition they're all over the place on every planet you go to all right well let's head over to our copper deposit Be careful, you can injure yourself on long runs like that. That was my mistake. There are no animals in this planet that you really need to um, scan that are going to give you any achievements or anything like that. So no use in doing that, but I'm just going to grab some more ferrite. So we're about not quite 10 minutes in, a little over 9. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to use my jetpack as much as I can. Let it recharge. Because you got to get a thousand units in the air on your jetpack. So you might as well get that achievement now while you can. It'll give you a supreme upgrade for that. Oh, look, some, some more condensed carbon. You know how useful that is. All right, and we're going to grab a little bit of sodium. Okay, there's our copper deposit. Another hazardous plant right there. All right, switching over to terrain manipulator. Go to your smallest setting. And try to get at least about 600 copper. This will allow you to get all the chromatic metal you need. You need 300. That will allow you to install your hyperdrive. It will allow you to make at least 8 warp cells. And that will get you through the entire journey. Through the entire expedition. So 600 is what you need here. This does take a little bit to gather it all. You will probably run out of... Terrain manipulator juice, as I like to call it, the charge on your terrain manipulator before you have a chance to gather it all. Don't worry about the cold. You already have a battery on you you can use in order to recharge yourself, and you'll only need the one for now. We can make more. That's the reason why we got the cobalt. And that was the whole purpose behind that. Uh, looks like we cut through a little bit there. So we're going to have to guess at how much we have now. And again, the smallest setting allows you to gather the most items from this particular deposit. You'll see some people go to medium setting and pick them up. Yes, that works, but sometimes you have to find a second deposit when you when that happens. And that, that can sometimes take longer than doing it this way. So I choose to go with one deposit if I can manage it. Now I'm guessing we have about 350 to 400 right about now. Let's check our inventory. This doesn't warm up or anything like that. Yep, we're close to 400 now. Again, 200 more is all we're going to need. Now there's another achievement you got to make, and that is to get about 1,000 shots off with your... I think it's actually 1,200 shots off with your gun. Ammunition, that is. Um, you can do that here if you wish. You do get upgrades for doing so, and it is kind of worth it. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Sometimes you can do it while you're refining your copper. Okay, 545. We get about another 50. Just about there. Now we're going to use what silicate powder we did have. And I'm going to go into a flattening mode here to gather up a little bit of the extra copper that's in there. And the second thing I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to get a little bit more silicate by borrowing into the to the mountain here, and that will get my, there we go, that'll get my uh, weapon, pardon me, my terrain manipulator fully charged now, see? Okay, so we're going to switch back over to our mining beam. Looks like we have um, a health res restoration thing there, we can go ahead and grab that. Alright, now I do recommend, this is kind of a, a you're going to consider it a little bit of a mean thing to do, 
but I do suggest going ahead and take out at least one animal to get a little bit of food. There we go. And the reason for the food is so you can recharge your health. You do need that at some point. So we're going to get rid of the Mordite. I'm going to eat one or two or three of these. And that should get my health at maximum. Very good. It's a good idea to have your health at maximum in this because fighting the Sentinels can be a little bit hairy. Okay, always keep on the lookout for hazardous plants as you walk along. And again, we want to use our jetpack. I keep forgetting that myself, actually. Since we do have something in the ground here, I'm going to see if I can't pick it up. I can, without digging. There's a hazardous plant right there. There we go. I'll go and grab another sodium while we're at it. We don't really need it, but it's good to have. All right, and we are up and out of there. All right, excellent. So while we're here, I always like to check our damaged machinery to make sure there's nothing I need from it. Sometimes it gives you an upgrade you could use. Other times it just gives you nanites. And for this one, we actually have to carve into the ground to get it. And it's extra money. Oop. I didn't realize our biological horrors had reappeared. No problem. All right, so we're back to the mining beam, and we're going to get in our ship at this point. So, we're going to go through the commands here. I'm not going to read them to you. We're going to ignore that. We all know what we're doing, so launch our ship. There's literally nothing else really to do on this planet. You could do a couple of other things, um, but I'm going to show you, since we're on a peaceful planet, we're going to go ahead and show you something you can get done. So let me go ahead and land over here. You can stay at your regular landing site, but I'm getting away from the biological bars. I prefer first person, uh, third person view and flying the ship. You can get out faster. There we go. Can't get all of this, but we can get some of it. All right. So one thing we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and see if we can attract some animals. So let's get some food. First things first, we've got to go over here. And we're going to put some food in here. There you go, creature pellets. Um, let's get our achievements, because we do have a couple, of, uh, at least one reward that we can grab. Yep, plasma, very good. And let's see what we got. We got a shield module, we're gonna stick that in here. All right, and then we gotta get our other exterminator. We got a shell greaser out of it. And we don't need that, but we do need the, the module itself. We're going to stick this in here, and you see our char our damage is now up to 16,000. Really, really nice. Now, we do have a paralysis mortar. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to set this to a hotkey. I'm going to look around for some animals. There's a bunch right there. Okay. And let's go ahead and feed them. We need four animals. Are they all there? They are. Launch your secondary weapon and stun them, and then wait. Very good. So that gives us an achievement that you, ha you it's not giving it to you yet, but you will get it very, very soon. So this achievement is in here. Where to go, where to go, where to go? There. Hit, uh, score four hits with one grenade. So we're going to get that, but we have to get our unstable, we have to get our plasma launcher before that'll happen. We get our plasma launcher in here. I'm looking for it. It's here in just a minute. From one of the other achievements. And I'm looking for it. This is embarrassing. That's okay. No, we don't get it for there. We definitely don't get it for there. Do we? No, we don't. Oh, the 800, the 1800 rounds of ammunition. So there you go. So what I'm going to do, we haven't um, taken off yet and gotten out of the atmosphere, that is. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. The reason for doing so for me is that we're going to get an achievement. Do not fly in front of the eye. He'll hit you. There it is. Go back down to the planet. We're going to land in a kind of a more open area over here. Don't go for any landing zones. You just want to be in an open area. 
So this is where we're going to fight our first group of sentinels. And we'll be most likely um, getting an achievement for that soon. So, okay, we got everything in there. Just wanted to check. Let's go back and get our dust off. We have our hyperdrive unit. Notice it needed chromatic metal. That's okay. We're going to put down our portable refiner. And we're going to go in here, charge it up. I'm going to dump the copper in. 718, pretty good. And we'll go ahead and get that going. In the meantime, one of the things that happen when you, when you do this is we're going to switch over to our scatter blaster with plenty of ammunition. Um, if we look around, we should be getting a sentinel anytime now. Hmm, more hazardous flora. Some over there too. It should appear soon, because once you leave a planet and go back to it, it usually gives you the option. Pardon me. The option is that they suddenly start appearing. Of course, it's going to make a liar out of me. It worked every single other time I've done it. Also, too, this might work. If I had a... Plasma Launcher now, I could show you a little trick on those, but we're going to hold off on that. Now, little trick that I saw in another video, I'm going to try it here if I can find one more ground-based creature. I didn't think of that before. But lots of birds out there. Lots of flying animals. All over the place is if you, before you scan an animal, if you um, hit it first to make it angry, it will become aggressive. And then you scan it. So that might be a trick we're going to try here in just a little bit. Well, it looks like they're not making an appearance like I hoped they would. And we're almost done, and I should be in the middle of a fight right now. Well, guess we're going to have to wait on them to the next planet. So, our chromatic metal is complete. We're going to pick that up. We're going to go ahead and install our hyperdrive and get our chromatic metal put in. So, at least that part is done. Next stop is going to be the space station. So, we're going to be heading up there. Again, I want to reorganize some inventory real quick. The things that we're going to be selling. Okay. Any other achievements we want to get while we're at the first planet? We're only 20 minutes into this. We haven't eliminated our sentinels. That's usually something else we end up getting done. Um, we haven't gotten all of our jetpack movement yet, though it is a good idea. And we will get that soon. Yep, got eight, uh, seven more hazardous Florida, uh, Florida get. Okay. Okay. Let's. Ah, it's becoming daytime. That's why. All right, let's go ahead and get going. Fortunately, they give you plenty of Starship launch fuel, so you don't really need anything else. You don't need uranium if you can, if you want to skip it. All right. You will need tritium or something along those lines. Now, what we may do is we may stop on that planet over there and actually go ahead and fight the Sentinels when we get a chance. So while we're in here, we're going to hit up a couple of the pilots and see if we can get some tritium from them. Uh, normally, we could hit um, an asteroid field, but for some weird reason, asteroid fields in this area tend to be very, very scarce, and I don't know why. I think they did that purposely, but I could be wrong go to the next system and they're plentiful so it doesn't make any sense so at this point you could usually go into your uh, menus and go ahead and get your expedition rewards your milestone rewards things like that no reason to do that for us we've already gotten all of it so not gonna worry about it all right so we need five microprocessors don't we we're gonna get the wonderful music that it always starts with will be flipped over there we go first time you enter a space station you get this wonderful wonderful tune Yep, telling us all about space stations. Alright. 
So we have no upgrades to sell yet. So I'm going to just go straight to the terminal here, and I'm going to sell the technology that we've got. There we go. We'll hang on to the creature pellets. Uh, let's see. The rancid flesh. Go ahead and sell that. It's actually worth quite a bit. Um, and your salvage data. This is what you want to get rid of. And you see you get a couple mil. Almost two million for all that. All right. We'll go over here. Again, we're not going to need the uranium. You can skip it. But we do need our microprocessors. Go ahead and switch to your ship inventory. And one, two, three, four, five. I usually get a few extra metal plates just in case I need them. And, of course, I'll switch back to here, and I'll just pick up a little extra ferrite dust while I'm here. That's done. So while we did all that, we're going to head over to this pilot right now and see if we can get a little bit of tritium from him. Gold would be good, too. I can turn that into pyrite. But gold, tritium, or pyrite, any of those three will work fine for us. And he doesn't have any of them. So you stink, sir. Sorry. We will have to leave. Now, we should be getting another ship or two or three in here at this point. There's one coming over my head right now. Because usually they come in waves, and a wave usually arrives at three or four ships. I usually go to the vendor up there and get myself a hyperdrive upgrade, but I don't have any nanites at the moment, so we're not going to worry about that. And we're going to pick up... Pretty, um... Okay, let's go back to this inventory. And if we could get one more tritium, uh, someone to sell tritium to us, that would be fantastic. Let's check this guy out real quick. He may not have any, but maybe we'll get lucky. He does. Excellent. And he's got pyrite too, but since I've already gotten to the tritium, let's just go ahead and get more. That should be more than enough to get us through. And look what else he happens to have. Chromatic metal. I'll go ahead and grab it, though you're not going to need it. Okay, and we're done. There's literally nothing else we need to do here. It would be nice to get the hyperdrive upgrades from there. There's a C-class and a B-class ones, but we don't have any nanites, so I'm not too worried about it. This is asking us to, build, to fix this up, so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. We should be able to make, with the inventory we have, eight of these. Let me just see. There we go. And now we need to make eight of these, but it needs condensed carbon. We may not have enough to get eight of them, Oh, yep, we did. Good. So, warp cells. And we're done. It is now full, and we're ready to go. So, let's go fight us some sentinels, though. We really need to get those done. I like to get at least one done in this system. Sometimes two. Two sets. And we'll head straight to this planet right here. Now, my guess is, is that our discovery services are not available again. Let's just check. Yeah, for some reason, online discovery services have been offline for quite a bit. For everybody. I don't know what's going on, but it's been causing all of us a little grief. Now, it may not be a problem in the game itself. It may be a problem with our own games. So, I'm going to advise that anybody who's running into that, may, maybe do a backup of your, of your game and try doing a reinstallation of No Man's Sky. Because I have a funny feeling that is part of the cause. What I'm looking for right now is an open area that I can do this fight in. This looks good enough. Let's get the ship over in the corner. Flying too fast. Not likely. Alright. And we've already got... Looks like we got ourselves a sentinel right over there. So I'm going to switch out over to... If I can get this off my screen. To the scatter blaster. We're all set. Let's go ahead and take on some sentinels. And we'll, we'll check out these guys a little bit later. I didn't intend to kill him. I was trying to make him angry. Okay. So I want to have this fight out in the field over here. We'll check out the creature in a little bit. Alright, he's not going to get mad. So we're going to go ahead and just take out the sentinels. We're going to take out the healers, the callback unit, and then these guys. Alright. Should have a couple more. One more healer. Oh, there you are. And two more healers. Alright. And we just want to look in the direction... of 
like one of these guys. The direction you're facing is the direction they will come from. And we're probably going to have a crawler in this one, a quad as they're called. Yep, there he is. Those are the hardest ones to deal with because of that. And I gotta reload. There we go. Anybody else? Okay, nobody else right now. Get out into the open here so I can have a little bit more open field to do deal with. Go. Okay, already got somebody launching bombs at me. I'll take out the walker in a minute. Got it. Before you call anybody in. Okay, come here, buddy. Your scatter blaster up close is way more damaging than usual. So be advised that that is probably the better way to go for now. Get a little closer to them, you can take them out pretty easily. Okay, here we go. Now you'll see that I'm actually taking out the healers first. It's a good idea because they heal everything. There we go. Ow. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> Remember, those barrels will heal you. And while that does hurt, better just to take everybody out when you can. Ah, I missed you, didn't I? There we go. Okay. Oh, there you are. Got behind me. And just keep shooting. There's our first walker completed. And we also got our first 32, so that takes care of another achievement. So well, you're going to find out we just got several achievements in one shot. All right, is there any barrels we've missed? The barrels are going to be very handy. There's one over here. I missed that one. Nope, that is just damaged machinery. And so is that. Okay, then we're good. All right. Is there any animals you haven't scanned yet? Sentinel Pillar is over there. We're going to go take a visit to it. I, a lot of people don't, but I will. None of these animals are going to be aggressive, so there's no use in really scanning for them. So let's go ahead and just get going. Now, we did see the grub. I'm curious. I want to try something with it. Usually, you have to pick it up and then crush it. But on one run, I accidentally destroyed it, and it got things going. Yep, it worked. Son of a gun. You don't need your hazmat gauntlets now. I have an animal attacking me, apparently. Okay, she's gone. Who's attacking me? Nope, nothing else there. So, did that count? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. I didn't get an achievement or a milestone. But did we need the hazardous gauntlets to pick one up or not? going to be an interesting uh, determination later on. Those are beautiful, I tell you. Interesting looking creatures. All right, let's get in our ship. Before we leave, let's take a look at what we've done. Back, back to the expedition. So in phase two, we've got our lock and load. Let's go ahead and grab that as well as our scrap metal. Okay, so we got some good stuff out of that. 
Now it doesn't say that we got our hitting four at one time. So what I might do here, since we're here, we're going to see if we can achieve that. I only attracted one creature. Okay, let's see if there's any more around. There's a bunch over here. Alright, so we're going to remember that. It's not going to let us do otherwise. We got two, three... Four. There we go. Now you have a paralysis mortar on here again. Wait till they all gather up. And then. That's all you needed to do. Should get the achievement. We didn't get the achievement. Well, for some reason it doesn't want to give us this achievement. I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, let's go back to our starship, and I guess we have to put our we have to put our plasma launcher in. I think that's all we have to do. Let me just check real quick. I think we just learned something. Anything else? There you go. And it worked that time. So that's what we had to do. We had to have our plasma launcher installed. So let's go ahead and grab that achievement. We do get more out of it. As you can see, we now have a more powerful plasma launcher, which will be very handy later on. I'll tell you. All right, we got a bunch of stuff on our inventory that we can now sell. Now, one of the things that we did get, if you'll check our inventory over here, is we got salvage glass. Let's go ahead and pick that all up see what we got out of it. We've got some antimatter. We're going to put that in our ship. Um, I do use these. I do recommend using them. Yeah, they're actually more helpful over there. Uh, 28 shield. We're not getting any extra lives out of it, but that's okay. We'll put them down here to just give us a little extra boost to everything in our inventory. The weapons charge, you're going to go ahead and sell those off. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that here in just a moment. All right. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and hit the um, Sentinel Hive because we can at least get a few extra salvage glass out of it. And we're really, what we're more interested in trying to get is if we can get ourselves a Sentinel map. Those maps are very, very handy. How far away is this one? A minute away. We'll take it up high. So you see, we spent about 35 minutes in this system so far. Next system, we're going to do some other stuff. Like going under the water and getting our creatures under there and things like that. Boy, if this ship was just a little slower, we might be flying backwards. Now, this is going to release the biological horrors here. Always be aware of that. we got two barrels we can pick up on the way. No use in checking the weapon there, it really isn't very handy. There we go, let's get our save point. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Okay, and back to the ship. That's all we need to do. And if you don't take off, they're just going to keep attacking your ship, which is going to hurt you, so just get up in the air. All right, let's go back in here and see what we got. Okay, I'm going to see if this one gives us a better achievement here. Uh, sprint distance is longer. Better than some of these. Yeah. So we'll put this one in here. And we got some other stuff that we can sell off. So we got 2,400 more nanites that we can now get rid of. So that's going to be good. All right. So let's go ahead and sell some stuff off, shall we? Health at maximum. Okay. So rather than going to the space station here, we're going to hit the second space station when we exit the system. So let's go ahead and do that next. 
Now, I used to go to a, a different system over here. Uh, I think it's right here, which is dissident, a uh, dissonant, pardon me, um, and get my dissonant uh, stuff done there. But I'm going to wait because one of the actual places that we go for our, um, for our rendezvous, if you will, is going to be a dissonant system to begin with. And there's some extra stuff we can get there. Plus, we'll have more powerful weapons by then. So let's go ahead and continue. We're just going to go straight to our rendezvous. Fortunately, looks like we have just enough, just enough to get there. Now, we don't have any upgrades for our hyperdrive, and we're certainly not going to get much here. We're going to get probably a C-Class upgrade here, and that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and grab it anyway, because we do need to hit the space station to pick up a couple extra items. Now, real time, this is probably going to go for at least an hour and a half. I want to try to complete this around the 2 hour and 15 minute mark, give or take. So we'll see how it goes. So our... we went to light speed, yes. Our planet we're going to is right there. And we're going to go there in just a moment. But before we do, let's hit the space station and get some things done. No special music this time. Hmm, putting me on a close space again. Must really like me today. All right. You could get a exosuit upgrade if you wish. There's really no reason to do so. So you see we got our powerful thrusters and everything like that, signal booster. There's no real real reason to keep those, but I'm going to go ahead and install this right now. All right. So first things first, let's head up here and talk to this guy. Starship Research. Again, we don't have any nanites, but we can sell some. There we go. We have plenty of nanites now. Now, the only one we can get in here is the C-Class hyperdrive. There usually is no other hyperdrive installs, so you'll have to live with whatever, whatever else you got. So we'll go ahead and install that real quick, and it will give us a small boost. Yeah, 245, so 100, 100 light years. That's a good, good start. We may be stopping at one more station, but we'll see. Let's empty out our inventory. Pugnium, we don't need it. Um, hard frame, walker brains. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Magna gold, we've got plenty of chromatic metal. Gelatinous scoop, the mordite, the quad servo, the dirty bronze, the magnetic resonator, the viking effigy. All of that can go away. We don't need any of those. You can go in here if you wish. They usually have chromatic metal. Yes, if you wanted to get more, it's up to you, as well as pyrite. So you can get some nice items from this space station. And you can go to these guys and get more stuff if you wish. No reason to do so. All right. So our inventory is empty. we got plenty of money down the road if we ever need it. That's a nice ship that was on that dock there. Um, so let's head to our planet that we're supposed to be heading to. Again, discovery service aren't working, so I am not going to know what any of these planets have in store for us. So this planet here, barren planet, is all we've got. So we're going to go ahead and land here. I'm going to go ahead and recharge my pulse engine as well. We've got plenty of juice for that, plenty of materials. So we'll get that done. And here we go. I, for some reason, cannot fly upside down against the planet. I don't know why. It bothers me. I'm going to stay up a little bit high. Your drop zone that you're coming at is, uh, while it's showing you it's right there, it's actually to the left. I usually just use it as a guide. So go up and over the hill. And then head to the left. You see this building over there to the left? That's where you're headed. Try to run into all the plants like I do. Coming in. And down we go. Biological horrors are going to pop open. So there they go. Just ignore them. Go inside your... Excuse me. Go inside the uh, place here. Okay, and we get our more of our storyline at this point telling us where to go. I will always... Submit. 
Go ahead and get your milestone over here. Save and chart. Get in your ship. Head to your first place it tells you to go to. Look for the, uh, there it is, the mech shape over that way. It is not close. You're going to have to go into space and pulse drive to it. This one they felt needed to be on the other side of the planet. Now hopefully my audio is working. It looks like it is. Been having trouble with OBS lately in crashing, causing all kinds of audio issues, etc., etc., etc. Um, not sure what's going on, but a lot of people have been having issues with it lately. Even uh, Jason's been having trouble too. Wow. Ship is really slow. Okay, so as we come up on this, I'm going to park over to one side. There we go, this should be good. Remember to get your... point of interest over there. Um, there we go. Alright, we're all set. Go ahead and grab this real quick. There we go. And where is it? There she is. One more shot ought to do it. There we go. And then these guys disappear. Okay, and we're done. Didn't lose too much health. Now while we're here, we got plenty of these guys around us, right? A lot of those eggs, so we're probably going to go ahead and grab some eggs too while we're here. Life support's getting low. I'm going to use my one life support gel. Okay, let's go in. And we get more of the story here. This is the liquidator that we're following around. And you can go through that storyline later if you wish to do it on your own. Okay, we're done here. So while we're here, go into your inventory. Now you notice I didn't get this first. It gives us two inventory slots. The second one gives us a multi-class tool, a multi-tool class upgrade. Get that first. Because your upgrade goes in and then when you grab this one, you can upgrade. See? So now you can use all the upgrades. All right. Any more achievements to get? Yes, we can. We can get the full one here if you wish. I'm going to ignore it for now. We don't need to worry about it. But one thing I do want to get is my 13, 13 uh, whispering eggs. So we're going to do that here. One at a time. Because if they drop through, you can pick them up. I don't know why it's doing all that. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, okay, I'm actually getting hurt here. Like I said, these guys hit a lot harder now. Let's go over here and we're going to eat the crystal flesh. That'll give me my heart back. I'm going to wait for my shield to uh, restore before we get moving here. Those guys bounce me around quite a bit. Unbelievable. So again, all you folks who said, hey, they're not hitting as hard, man. They're just really, really wimpy. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. So, bring this back up. Critical damage was taken. Let me just check, make sure that nothing in here was broken. Or here. Nope, we're okay. Alright, carry on. You can grab one at a time. And work your way around multiple times. If you're lucky, maybe there'll be a storm and you can get that achievement as well, walking around in a storm. Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon me. Coming through. Whoops. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Not quite there yet. We're almost there. There we go. Got them all. All right, where's my ship? Ship should be over here. All right. Now I'd like to make an ang uh, a creature angry with me if I can. I don't know if I'm gonna get that or not. There we 
There we go. Got a couple more hazardous plants out of it. Waiting for the swarm to die down. They don't seem to want to. Now, if we get some sentinels popping up over here, we can go through one more sentinel battle while we're here. Let's hit from a distance and see what happens. No. Nope. We're trying to get one of these animals to actually attack us. Oh, that's a big animal. Did I just kill it? Sure did. Apparently, he didn't want to attack me. So if you can get a creature to attack you, you will be in better shape. But for some reason, they don't want to attack me today. I think that's absolutely astounding. The only time they want to attack is when I'm in the middle of the fight. Oh, there's my 1,000 jetpack, so I knew we'd get that soon. Let's switch back over to our mining beam. Get a couple more hazardous flora. Can't seem to get that one. There we go. Did we get the full achievement on that one? No? There we go. Nope, still can't get any creatures to attack me. These guys don't want to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and just scan them for now. Who did? And now they're going to attack. Interesting. Well, that backfired. Because it didn't start attacking until after I scanned it. So, there's something. So we're still going to have trouble finding our aggressive predator. But I'm told that we can find it on a planet in the dissident system that we'll be heading towards. So we're going to head over there. I've wasted enough time here. Okay. And we didn't find any sentinels here either, but what did we get? So we have that as our main achievement here. We got this. Supreme Movement Upgrade is very, very handy to get. I did wait purposely, so it was over here, so I could land these uh, charts over in my other inventory. And then these are going to go over here. Excellent. And what's this? Hazmat gauntlets, which I don't think we're going to need anymore. We do have to crush a vile grub. Let me just see if there's any grubs nearby I can pick up. Because that's pretty much all I'll have to do. Okay. I don't see any, so we'll go ahead and just grab it from the next planet. I'm very curious as to whether that'll work. Moving on. Out we go. So, our first one is done. Two is almost done. We're going to go to the second uh, drop zone now. And that is all the way over here. So it's outside my jump range. So we're going to go here first. Happens to be a dissonant system, but we're not going to go ahead and do the dissonant system at all. We're just going to go ahead and pass through. The system we're going to use for that is going to be, I think it's milestone 3 or 4. Not sure which one. Uh, phase. Our rendezvous 3 or 4, I should say. Is 
Scan around real quick, look for your space station. You can go ahead and fight them if you wish, it's up to you. Of course, this time, the space station happens to be as far away as it possibly can get. Because we cannot go into hyperspace while we're here. Wow. Kind of jet-packed in here. They both did. Good thing about the haulers is they have pretty good shields. And that is done. Now, since we're here and we had to escape, what we might look for is a hyperdrive upgrade while we're here. Let's see. I don't really have anything to sell, but we'll check to see if they have a hyperdrive upgrade for us. If we can get one, that way we can make these jumps in one shot. It would be great. Purchase. Let's see what we got. B class. We have an S class. Excellent. So we're going to get the S class. There's no A class ones in here. I'll grab the B class as well. Should give us more than enough to get things done. There we go. Much better hyperdrive range, don't you think? Good. That didn't take more than about a minute to get that done. So let's go ahead and get going here. We're going to go on to Rendezvous 2. Now you could have just taken off right away and went straight out of the space station. There we go. We're going to hyper hyperspace. Uh, that is, uh, you could have just left right away and went straight to your rendezvous. But that's okay. Here we go. So as we come up on Rendezvous 2, we're going to go ahead and see what we can do about getting this one done rather quickly. As you can see, we're about 55 minutes into our run. In game time, that will be less time. Probably closer to 45 minutes is probably what we're looking at right now. Alright. So, now that we have an upgrade, we don't really need to hit the space stations anymore. So, where is our drop zone? That way. At a planet far, far away. So here we go. So, take this time to either get some of your achievements, make sure things are charged up the way they should be, so you don't have to be surprised by it. I'm going to take two of these out of here and put them in. Uh, Multi-tool, let me see, this can be charged up. Uh, that's good, that's good, and that's good. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, go to our exosuit. Life support is good. I'm just going to use a little oxygen in there. Uh, looks like everything else is fully charged and ready to go. Let's look at some of our achievements, our expedition achievements. Um, we should have one in here that we can collect, which is our nutrient processor. So let's go ahead and grab that. We'll do that real quick when we get to the planet. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, just the achievement, the main achievement over here for posters. Okay, and then we're done. So, second drop zone, here we come. So now that we got all that done, we should be, yep, about 10 seconds away from hitting the Atmo. And we can go ahead and drop in, and we'll create, we'll, we'll go ahead inside and we'll, we'll do our cooking in there, if you will. One thing I want to do here, is it in my starship? It is. There it is. I'm going to put that in my ship. I'm in my exosuit. There we go. All right, this one is at the top of a hill, I believe. Let me just check. We came to it from a different direction. I think it's up there. Let me just check. That looks like it's pretty far away. Oh. That's it. Now, of course, we're going to have the biological horrors jumping at us. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I think we got our sixth one, but I don't quite remember, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. I'm trying to get that off my screen, but it disappeared a little quicker than I expected. 
Okay, so before we get started over here, I'm going to go ahead and drop down our nutrient processor inside. And the only thing we need to do is put in your rancid flesh and just get it cooking. It only needs to make one and you don't even have to be in there. See? You get your achievement. Go ahead into here. Get that done. And we're just going to leave it behind. The guy can have his own free barbecue here. Feel free to eat some vile ribs. Okay. So we're going to go off to our site where we take everything out. Infestation site should be at the top of this hill. You can walk it if you wish, especially if there's a storm going on, but I choose to fly. Yep, yep, this thing turns like a, uh, like a school bus with a stuck front end. I tell you what, good grief. Okay, here we go. There we go. Whoa, that was fun. Did a did a belly bump. Done. Okay, so that was fun. Get too close, they'll jump up in the air and do a little belly bump thing. Let me just make sure we did get our drop zones. Yeah, there it is. No, nope, that wasn't it. It's in here someplace. Hold on. I think we got it. Is it number two? Still haven't grabbed the vial grab. We'll grab that in a minute. Yep, I think we did. Inventory slot six. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Um, I'm going to put them down here. One, two, three. Line that out. We're going to do it up here as well. There we go. All right. Go in. It's going to be a plant that will slap us. Go to the abandoned terminal. Get rid of that and that. And just go through the dialogue real quick here. So we're just over an hour. Look at that. We're already done with number two now. Okay, we're done. Let's go ahead and grab the achievement for this one real quick. Okay, you get some ammunition, but you're upgrade, you upgrade your class of your multi-tool, which is very, very, very handy. That's very good to get. Go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, and did we get our nanites yet? We haven't quite got them all yet, but we will be getting them soon. So that's done. Now, if we take a look around, it's going to tell us that there is a bug or grub down here. There it is, right there. All we should have to do is pick it up. I think that's all we have to do here. I'm very curious. We're going to find out in just a moment. Was it enough? It is not. Okay. Alright, so we're going to have to come back up here and we're going to go through one more battle with this thing while we crush it. You know what's funny is you don't have to fight anything. I just realized that just this second while we're recording. We don't have to fight anything. We just need to crush it. And then we can leave. Does that give us the achievement? I don't know. So let me see. Whoops, wrong way. I'm going to go around it. I'm just very curious here. We do not get it. You have to take out the queen. Whoops, I'm stuck underneath my ship. There we go. Let's see, what do we got? We have a plasma launcher. There she goes. So if you want to take care of it from a distance, that's a good way to do it. So we had to, we had to take out it one more time in order to do it. So that's interesting to note. Okay, so we're done with that. Did we get anything for it? Some hazard protection, runaway mold. We really don't need any of that. 
Uh, so this whole section here, number two, is done. We go on to number three now. Let's go ahead and head out. We haven't gotten our last uh, hazardous plant. We'll get that on the next planet. Let's go to number three. Should get us all the way there. There we go, right there. Also a water area, so I think, I think it's number four is our dissident world. I pray my audio is doing well today. Audio has been having some trouble lately and uh, has been destroying some of the videos I've been making. So hopefully it's working out okay. There we go. Should point us in the direction in just a second. There we go. I think this one, I, I keep thinking, oh wow, it's really close, and then you realize, no, it's on a planet beyond this one. See? Psych. Sucker. Alright, now this planet that we're coming up on is mostly water. We're gonna see if we can't get our three underwater um, baddies here. We could have done it on our very first world if we wished, but this one will work just fine for that. There we go. And maybe what we'll do is we'll get it in between. We'll stop at the drop point, then we'll go to the water, get our three underwater monsters, and then we'll go to the... vile brood location that we need to go to. Yeah, look at that. Lots of water here. Alright, now this one, even though it's directing you right to the front of the water here, yours is up on the hill on the far side. Should be. I'm going to have to scan for it. There it is. Looks like we might have a storm going on right now. I can't even see the landing spot. Sometimes uh, you get a little bit of a graphic issue and it, auto it unfortunately does that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this anyway just because I can. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead in here. Now we got an extreme storm. I'm gonna stay out as long as I can because you need to get some extra steps in for that. So that is over here. Navigating during a storm. Now, the problem is with this place, it sometimes gets um, flamey. There you go. See the flames? So try to navigate around them. If you walk through the flames, you're going to have to go inside to regenerate. This is a good place to use your batteries. Stay away from the flames. You don't want to walk through the flames. Even getting too close to them could be a problem. Now this, you see the swarm is subsiding, so you're good. Oop, whoa, okay. See, I almost ran right through that one. I'm going to try to walk out towards the outside here. Maybe that'll work better. Now you're in a kind of a normal mode here, so you can let your... Protection get down lower if you wish before you use one of your batteries. See? There we go. Now hopefully it'll pop back up in just a moment. We can see how well we're doing. Not showing it to us. Like I had to reselect it again because it didn't want to. There we go. So we're about halfway. That's pretty good. Now the storm's probably going to end soon because we came on the planet when it was still running. Last time this happened, I almost got through. I only got through about 1,100 steps before it gave up. Okay, we have one more battery we can use. We can use sodium after that. I haven't created new batteries.
try to run. Nope. Crap. So watch. See, see the storm damage that you're getting? There you go. Should have cleared that out now. Where's the building go? There we go. I'll use some more sodium for this as well before I have to create batteries. Wow, 1,200 steps already. We might be able to get the last 200 in. Of course, it's going to hear me. Should get the achievement. There it is. Wow. Did we get fortunate or what? Okay, good. That worked out nicely. Yeah, if you try to call your ship in, it'll automatically produce the biological horrors, by the way. Alright, so let's head out into space. We need to be able to see the planet. See what I mean about asteroid fields? I'm going to head over to the daytime side. I think there's water, like, right here. Yeah, that is a miner, by the way. If you go mining, he'll appear. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to just go straight here. Hopefully there's some water underneath us. Alright, looks like we got water... I want to head towards the sunlight if we can. Because I really need to be able to see the planet in order to be able to see if there's water or not. Looks like the storm ended. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. So we need to get three underwater monsters. That's going to be fun. Uh, let's see. We need deeper water. That would be better. So let's head out a little ways. We can look at our radar at the top and see if they pop up, if the generation comes up quick enough that we can see it. I'll choose one of these little islands over here. Is that a building? Are you kidding? Really? Yeah, we got to be careful of that. That'll just trigger everybody from, you know, everybody appearing here. Let's go to this one over here. Trying to prevent the biological horrors from popping up all over the place. Oh, look, we got a hazardous plant we can take out, too. And done. There we go. That's done. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that gives us a nice little reward. Yeah, perfect. That's what we needed. Okay, so. Uh, not so much the pulse spitters, but we need this, the underwater protection. We're going to drop this in over here. And one of the shields. We can get rid of the B class and put the S class in. Excellent. This can go in our ship. That one get rid of. All right, we're in good shape. Let's go underwater, shall we? Uh, first thing we need to look for is we need to look for. Not that. That's really weird. And I don't see any. Okay, we need to look for a horror that's underwater, and we're not finding any, so I'm going to have to take off and look someplace else. Let's go to this island over here. This should be far enough away. Unbelievable. There we go. Alluring specimens. What we're looking for. So here we go. There's our... Why am I not shooting him? Am I inside of him? That was hilarious. That was absolutely hilarious. Okay. Let's see, any more alluring 
I'm going to scan the animals under here in case I get lucky and there happens to be a, you know, creature that will want to attack me here. There we go. Got all four. And we're going to look for more alluring and we don't see any. So we're going to have to get back to our ship and take off. Take a look for some more alluring specimens. Okay, off we go. Let's go find another island. And again, if you fly low enough, sometimes, especially if you have a better computer than mine, you might be able to find something. There's one. We have a second one over here. It'd be great, but I don't see any. So we may take another jump run. There we go. You get that run jump thing going on. It usually works. Nope. I once picked up one and I picked all four of the flowers. Five flowers. And I never got one of these guys. There we go. He's gone. Take one more quick look. Make sure there's not one nearby. There is not. So we will head back to the ship. The long way. Actually, our charge is okay. Did we have an island near here? Let's get up to the surface real quick. Nope. No islands. Okay. So we'll just head the long way. Okay. And I think we have scanned all the water creatures under here. We didn't find any aggressive ones. The aggressive one has somehow eluded me. I had one on the first planet, the starting planet, but it disappeared. Got nerfed. And then I had one on the first rendezvous, and it's disappeared and got nerfed. So. I guess they didn't want it to be that easy for us. Okay, let's go out a little further. A couple little islands over there. Let's check those out. Let's grab that one. There we go, in case we're going to call it in. There's one right there. Does there happen to be more than one here? No? Unbelievable. Alright, so heading over there. Rust jump, and if you hit the water at a good rate, you'll go right down. There we go. Just making sure I'm fully charged. Got him. Okay, three done. If you find a plant that's under under the ground, uh, the ocean floor that is, don't bother. Please don't try. The monster will spawn in the spawn in the ground itself, and you'll never get him out of there. Okay, done here. Uh, let's see. So I think we're done with a couple of them. We got to go to the drop zone. Okay, we did all that. Don't need that. Let's see. So we got to go to drop zone drop zone three. Didn't we do drop zone three already? They did not register me doing drop zone 3. That can happen sometimes, so try not to leave your drop zone before it registers that you got it done. But I could have swore we did it already. That's really, really weird. We're having to head back and do it over again, and I don't know why. So you're seeing this happen too. You're seeing this in this video that this just happened. We've been here before. We've already done it. Maybe it's because we called our ship in that it reset it. You 
my part. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, we already got that achievement, but okay. A little bit of a bug there. Where are we going? Alright. This one, I think, is a little bit further away than we like, so I think we're going to go into space. Quite a bit. Quite a bit of a distance. <laughs> Alright. Let's come in. That was very, very odd. It should not have happened that way. But, we're okay. We're probably running at about one hour right now in game time. Interesting. It's on an island in the middle of this. Now, just so you know, one of the things you get here is you get your Minotaur. We're not going to do that just yet. Fighting with the Minotaur against these guys is a absolute aim. Got it. And they should be dropping out. Good. Alright, we'll get a reward here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and do the terminal real quick. We got a storm coming on, so what we gotta do is gonna have to be quick. Okay, and we're done with the liquidator. Okay, so that's done. Before we leave here, we're gonna go into here and make a few extra batteries, because that's the one thing we forgot to do earlier. There we go. Done. Used up. Okay. We're also going to place our... Not going to place it yet, because we have to get our expedition reward. So that's drop zone 3. Okay. And... Keeps jumping over there. Infestation reward. We get that, but we don't need them. So. Back over here. So, we need to get the Apex Predator. We, I think we can get it at Rendezvous 4, if I'm not mistaken. So, we're not going to worry about that just yet. Um, some powerful life support units. Let's go inside while we do this. Because I think that would be smart. I'm sure you would agree with me. We can sell these and get nanites, but we've already got the nanites. So, there we go. Jetpack unit. There we go. That'll give us an extra boost as well. Uh, we don't need those. I'm going to put them in my ship later. And what's that? Minotaur cannon. Okay, good. So we can get our Minotaur going. Blaze Javelin. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? So we do need to put this outside. I'm going to put our Minotaur down. There we go. And I'm going to get inside of it so it can protect me from the storm. And we're going to start installing stuff. So I'm going to put these over here. And I'll get my shield boosted. I need this as protected as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and install things. So we need our Minotaur cannons. I'm going to put them around here. Because we're going to use the Minotaur to fight our... it just kicked me out. To fight the rest of the... I'm, I'm slowing down, I'm sorry. To fight the rest of the um, sentinels that we have to fight later on. Excellent. Okay, we're all set there. Okay, back to our exosuit just to make sure there's nothing in there we need. Okay, so blaze javelin, that can all go away. Okay, we're done. Let's pick this up. We don't need that. And let's get back in our ship. Okay. So we're done here. There's nothing else to do on this section to, with the exception of getting our Apex Predator. So we're going to worry about that later. Um, this doesn't give us... It gives us our Aqua Jets. Let's go ahead and get that. So that we can land on water next time, right? There we go. Alright, good deal. So now we have that. 
Uh, let's see. Looks like everything is ready pretty much to go. We're going to once again go back in the expedition and force it to go to drop zone 4. But let's get up there. Now, as you know, we haven't fought our dissonant uh, or, or, or corrupted sentinels yet, so we got to remember that we're going to be doing that next. Okay. So this is our dissident system that we're heading towards. There we go. So we're going to do some fun here. And my understanding is there's a planet out here that has the Apex Predator on it. And there's two dissident pla uh, planets here, not just the one. I say dissident. It's dissonant. There is no D at the end. It's only at the beginning. Dissonant. I'll get it right one of these days. So is my audio okay? I think it's okay. Possibly. But we'll see. Okay. So the planet we want to go to is behind us, I believe. Not this one, but the little guy. That's the planet we want to go to. And it, of course, it's going to remove from the scan. That's the planet. So we're going to head there first. Is there any other ones we want to get. We already decided that that's not really important to us. We'll go ahead and grab it anyway. We probably could have used it, right? Exactly. We could have probably used it. I'm going to put these in my ship. I don't need them here. Actually, I can put that in the ship, too. We'll keep that on us. We're going to need that. Any more rewards? The metamorphosis we can get to, but again, I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're going to be fine. And we do have one at, uh, at phase five. It's this one, but again, it's not necessary. We still have to kill 50 hostilities with the Minotaur. We'll do that with the last two walkers. Three, it looks like at this point. We still have to get our nanites, so we'll be working on that. There is a quick way to get that done. All right, so we're coming in on the planet. It's a violent planet. Hopefully we'll be able to see. Uh, let's see. I would like to find a better area to land. Interesting um, place, to say the least. Let's go ahead and just land here. This looks good. Gravitino Ball at 160. We can do that definitely to spark them and bring them into existence. Oh, that's even closer. Let's go to that one. Alright, so we're going to switch over to our scatter blaster. Reload. Okay, we're all set. Uh, I'm going to gather extra sodium just in case. There we go. Where'd the... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So, grab, pick up a gravitino ball and you'll upset all of your sentinels. There they come. So I would fight with the Minotaur here, but fighting these Sentinels is actually a little bit easier with... There we go. And every time you take that, you, you, you see it recharges your shield as well. So I'm going to take this back. I can stop hitting rocks to my ship. And stand on its wing. One down. Two down. Three down. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and track this. Let's go ahead into phase four, is it? There you go. So that way we have a tracking at the bottom right. It'll pop up in just a moment. 
Not quite an hour and a half yet. Guess we're doing pretty good. Alright. Now, you see I'm on Plasma Launcher as my secondary weapon. We're going to be using that with the... Spiders. shooting at me. Watch. Oh. Got him. And then you can pick those up. If you want the same way. So even with the with the storm going on, as long as you pick up these barrels, you should be protected. Anybody else? There's one other creature over here. I don't see him. Unless he's right in front of me. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Got him. Oh, there's another one out there. Got him. And that charge is depleted, so let's go ahead and get that going. You see Swarm multiplying at the top right. There we go. Oh, that didn't hardly get me charged enough. got three more flyers coming in. we got 17 so far. We are going to have to take out a second group of these in order to get where we need to go. Oh, hello. You need to stop that. Okay. Anybody else? Almost make them out. The storm has gotten so bad he can barely make out the creatures. There we go. Got him. Should be some more floating around, I think. There he is. Here, got him. I think that was it. Anybody else? Oh, there they are. But I'd just go ahead and recharge that time. See, we still got somebody out there. As long as you have somebody in the red out there. There he is. Okay, so that run is done. So we picked up a bunch of them. So we should be about 20, I think? 21. Alright, so we gotta do it one more time. Be nice if the storm would quit. Alright, so I'm gonna jump in my ship. I'm just gonna fly elsewhere. Take a break. Frankly, I think this was a mistake coming to this planet, so I don't know what in the world the other player was doing. Uh, I think Jason had other plans to just come to a planet that had a very violent storm to it. And that was the whole reason for it. So, I am going to go away. Let's come in for another view. Maybe right between the volcanoes, what do you think? That looks like a nice, pleasant place to be. Can't see a blessed thing right now. Wow. It's 
So I want to say for the record, Jason, this was an awful idea. What were you thinking? Wow, just really wow. Okay, where is our fourth rendezvous at? Let's check. Okay, so let's check the planets. Pretty sure that the fourth drop zone is an actual dissident world, if I remember correctly. That's the other world we need to go to. So we're going to head there, actually, if I can get myself locked in. It, does, it doesn't want to lock it on the planet. Okay. So we're going to head in this direction, and what we're going to do is we're going to try to get to that other planet over there to get our... Apparently the one with the rings is got a has a very aggressive creature on board. On board. On the planet. So we're going to see if we can get that one. We are exactly 1 hour and 34 minutes into this. So again, if we go get about another 45 minutes tops, we should come in under two hours for the entire thing. Which will be nice. Okay. So, let's check the planet. Frostbound is what we want to do. That planet should also, I think, be dissident. It is not. Okay, so I'm going to look for another dissident world that I can do this on. Because frankly, I think this is ridiculous. That world was awful. Absolutely awful. I've been to much better dissonant worlds that were much easier to get done. Nope, don't feel like trading right now, my friend. So this has a lot of water on it. My understanding is that there's at least one creature in the water that's aggressive, and possibly one land-based creature that's aggressive. So we're going to try to go in between. Let's go right about there, I think will be good. Nice big island mass, maybe right over there, so we're closer to the water. That is the largest body of water over there. Yeah, I can handle this. It's cold, but it's not bad. Alright, so there's our first creature. Go ahead and scan them. Watchful. Nothing special there. This is the creature, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oop, oop, oop. There he is. Is that him? What? So that's not him. You're kidding, right? That's in uh, number two, number number three. So my thinking on this is that there's a chance that because discovery services are not working, it's not going to give me my achievement. So let's go out in the water and see if there's one out here. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. We're going to just have to call it bug until such time as they can fix. Let's see what we got. Nope, they didn't give it to me. There's two. These guys are supposedly the ones. Hostile. Well, still didn't give it to me. And you see current record NA. So we're finding hostile creatures, but for some reason it's not counting. So my guess is that it is bugged. It has to be. That's the only thing that makes any sense at this point. So there's a problem that we're going to be running into. 
um, with this, is that we may not be able to get the achievements we think we could get. Now, did we get our achievement for the 6,000 nanites? I think we did. Let me check that real quick. Very disappointed that I cannot get this achievement, no matter what creature I... It should give me, with a hostile creature, it should give me what I'm looking for there. But apparently that's not going to work. So, there we are. Yeah, we didn't quite get our nanites yet. If we go into here, I would love to be able to just go up here and upload the... Still not getting it. I thought I'd try that to see if it could spark it. So let's get the last uh, four, and this should get me my achievement at least, so we can get done with that milestone. There we go. That's done. So this was a useless gesture coming to this planet at this point. There's nothing more for us to do here. Because we should have all the creatures, just about all of them. Uh, we've got two more ground-based creatures that we haven't found yet. I will give it a shot just in case, but something tells me that if those didn't work, I don't know what will. So that's a problem. Yep, same creature. Alright. So, it looks like we've discovered pretty much every creature except for two more ground-based ones, but I don't know what else we can do about that. I've got an incoming blizzard coming in, so that's going to not work either. Alright. I'm going to call it here. And we are going to take off. So, by all rights and reasons, we should have achieved that particular milestone. And we're going to look for another dissonant system to go do our last few last few guys. Now, one thing we have in our inventory here is we should have... Let me see here. Did we get any? No, we didn't. Okay. I was hoping we got something in regards to Sentinel Hives. But maybe for this planet we can find it. It's also a frozen planet, so... Not mistaken, this one is right here. Wow. Okay, there we go. So we're going to look for sentinels on this planet and see if we can take them out. There we go. Off we go. Okay, we got fourth drop zone. As you can see, we've completed that, right? Let's go ahead and get it, because I don't want it to say, nope, you didn't really get it. Okay, multi-tool has been upgraded to an S-Class now. Thank you very much. All right, good. Hey, that's just rude. So now we're going to go to the next area. It wants us to do the Apex Predator still, so let's go ahead and choose that. There it is. And how far away is this one? About 20 minutes, so we should be able to go into space and hit it with a quick pulse. There we go. Alright. Coming in. So we're going to fight the Broodmother here. Okay, let's go. Should pop up any second right in front of me. Ah, let's just finish her off with the Plasmas. And we're done. 
Okay. In we go. Get rid of our goop. And we're done with this one. Right? Once he's done yapping. There we go. Let's go ahead and get our achievement real quick. Our milestone achievement, that is. And there we go. Fully laid out. Excellent. So do we get anything from this? We got some bolt casters if we wanted to use that. I am going to put them in my starship at some point. So we're done here. Now what we need to do is we need to find some sentinels, I think. We're enforcing here, so there should be some around, but I don't see any. Are you kidding me? An unknown grave right there? Unbelievable. Let's do a little traveling, shall we? And see if we can dig up a sentinel. Oh, guess what? We just dug up a sentinel. Right there. Come on over, buddy. We're going to try to fight them over here. Uh, actually, the other side, I think, because I want to stay away from the uh, biological horrors. So we'll go to the other side. This should be good. There you are. Good. We'll look in this direction instead. Probably gonna make those little uh, little guys there angry. Should have a quad here. So the shield works. How interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny though. Okay, we'll keep them looking in this direction. We're going to level 5, I think. This is 4. This is 4. much easier to deal with. You know what we should be doing, though? Why can't I get in him? Um, get... Ah, crying out loud, that's why. Good. Got we needed to use our Sentinel Walker for this. So we'll fight the last ones with the Sentinel Walker. There we go. I want to get myself fully charged. Let's face this way. I think this will be good. Ugh. I hate when they get right in front of you. I don't know why they do that. Great. Biological horrors are here. Got him. Time to exit.
problem is... That's a problem. Don't feel like dying right now. The biological horror is entering into the fray is a problem. I need to get my lasers back, my shields back, before I can fight more. Let's go back the other way. Fully charged. Where's my sentinel? My, uh, mech. There he is. Got him. Okay, got him. Is that it? Yep, we're done. Okay. So you have to be careful there because of that. Alright, so Sentinel Nest has been revealed. Before we get started, I want to get this over to something else real fast. Where is my ship at? There we go. I'm not sure why that is doing that. Probably because of the dead animal. Probably slipping on him. Alright. So, we're going to move some stuff over real quick here. I don't know why I moved that over. Okay. Okay. What we're looking for is I was hoping to get a... Yeah, to get a map out of that, but I guess not. Okay. That's okay. So, we didn't get a map out of it, so we're going to be suffering a little bit because of that. We're going to go to that Sentinel Hive real quick. Where is that at? I was going to go check out the Unknown Grave, but I think I'd rather check out the Hive. Where's the Hive at? There it is. Is that on another planet? It sure is. Off we go. Okay, it's on the planet in between. So we're going to hit this planet first. We'll hit the Sentinel Pillar, which means we'll have our fourth battle with the Sentinels. And then we need... 11 more Corrupted Sentinels to complete the other milestone. So I'm hoping to finish this in about 25 minutes. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll get this done right. Plenty of resources to recharge with. So because this Sentinel Pillar is on another planet, we can really antagonize some Sentinels here. And the thing is, is I want to stay away from the biological horrors because they can really do some damage to your mech. So let's check our milestone real quick here. It is... there it is. We've got 11 more corrupted ones to get, but we got to get... Did we get them all? With the mech. There it is. 50 hostiles. So how many we get? We got 16. We're going to have to get another 34 of them. So we got to go through an entire battle. Hopefully we can get this to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to land outside this area. Good grief, this is quite the valley, huh? Huh. All right. Let's come down. I'm going to park outside of it. What do you mean the landing area is not clear? Perfectly fine. Land. All right. Put our Minotaur down. Okay. So we're all set here. One thing I'm going to do to the Minotaur real quick. I'm going to uninstall the laser. I'm going to uninstall the laser and just put it in its inventory. There we go. Okay. That should help a little bit. We should be able to not have to worry about it doing anything. Uh, so when we get in and out, we have the right weapon selected. Okay.
Let's recharge that while we're at it. No, it's going to make me recharge everything else but that. I love it. This thing will walk right through everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stand at the edge and take these guys out. Got him. Excellent. Searching. Deactivated. But he should be right in front of me. There we go. Got him. So we should be able to go through an entire battle and not have to worry about... There we go. Not have to worry about biological horrors this time. So, we are charges down. Let's go ahead and put the charge up just a little bit. There we go. Got plenty of carbon to get that done with. So, we should be able to finish this up real quick. Yep. Yeah, your combat units are nothing, my friend. Got them. They don't even know where the shots are coming from. stand up here on the hill. High ground. Searching. Oh, there he is. Gotcha. Reinforcements arriving. Bring the Sentinel Walker. Go ahead. See, they can detect me inside the suit, so that's why they get so close, I believe. What are we doing? There we go. Gone. 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 And gone. Gone. Let's get rid of the walker. Gone. Gone. That should be it. Oh, wait, one more. Got it. Is that it? There's one more. There we go. There we go. Completed. That should do it. Should be nobody else out here, so we shouldn't have to worry about anything else. 
Excellent. All right. Now the Minotaur, let's check, should have that in here. Plenty of that. I'm going to transfer that to me and that to me. And that should do it. I'm going to put this back in for now. We don't really need to use him anymore. That's going to be the end of using him. So let's go ahead and head out of here. We're going to head up to our... We're going to find a dissonant system is what we're going to do on the way. Uh, so let's go to the expeditions. All right, so this has been completed. Uh, neutron cannon, if you want to get it. Uh, Multi-tool multi inventory slots, if you want to get it. More ammunition. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab it just because I need the more ammunition, to be honest with you. Okay. And then finally, I don't know why it keeps going to fauna records, um, we have to go to the final drop zone. I thought we had four walkers done, but it says we only did three. So I guess we're going to have to fight the sentinels one more freaking time. So that's kind of strange, and I'm pretty sure I thought I got them four times, but whatever. So we're going to be using our sentinel walker one more time, I think, later, so we can get through this. All right. Let's get moving. i got 15 minutes to get this done. So one is done, two is done, three except for the Predator is done, four is almost done except for the Corrupt Sentinel. So we're going to be doing that next. So let's head to the final drop zone. Okay. So while we're here, real quick, it'd be great if we get a map out of it, but we didn't get a map. Oh, we did. We did. We got two sentinel boundary maps. Excellent. Okay, so that'll help us later on. All right, let's head out to rendezvous five. Or drop zone five. I'll get it right one of these days. So while we're on our way there, let's look for a dissident system real quick. Uh, see if we can find a different one here. There's one. Let's go ahead here. It's got to be better than the system we just went to. Now, there's a possibility there'll be a battle going on when we get here. It is what it is. Two hours. We're at the two-hour mark of our run. I guarantee you we're around an hour and a half right now. Hour 35, something like that. So we're not going to be as fast as Jason's time, I'm pretty sure. But again, this is also not a live speed run, so it doesn't really count, does it? Okay. First person. Scan. Hopefully the planet's close by. Nope. Let's go to the planet right next to me. Hopefully here. It is. Dusty. I'll take it. Got water here. We got everything here too. Okay, we got a nice Gravitino Ball right there. Excellent. Okay, excellent. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and make sure we're fully loaded. Okay, grab the Gravitino Ball. And who did we trigger? There you guys are. Hi. One, two, three. So that's three so far. Head to the ship, and we're gonna flight from the, uh, flight. We're gonna fight from the wing. Fight from the wing. There they go. So we got three down. We have to get eleven. So this is four, five, six. Excellent. Let's check our numbers real quick here. Over here. We got five to go. No harm in scanning while we're here, right? Okay, we'll get two more here. Three more, actually. One. Two. I don't know why it took so long to get that one. Oh, good. Three. Four. And there's a fifth one right there. Got it. We're done. So what we can do here 
It says multiplying. Let's turn and look towards this direction. Okay. And then run. So we're going to take our time to try to get away from these guys. It's going to take a full minute. But it's a little bit faster than going ahead and staying put. Detected by who? I don't know who's to Oh, they put a couple in front of me. Look at that. Isn't that funny? Perks. Got to make a turn. All right. I just got to make sure there's nobody in front of me. We've got plenty of run juice. Do, 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 do. Boop, 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 boop. Try not to break anything or destroy anything on the way. Oh, look at that. Use our jetpack to get even further away. And there we go. Nice. Ten minutes. Uh, ten seconds. Let's go ahead and start heading back down towards the direction of our ship here. And we're done. Bring our ship in. So we got 20, 32 corrupted sentinels. While we're waiting for the ship, this is going to show us where our sentinel hive is, and we'll head there. So that took less than five minutes. Come on. Bring me in. Thank you. It'll, of course, be on another planet. Good. Not far at all. It's on the moon, so that's even better. Good. Good moon. Alright, so again, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to park a little ways away. We're going to sell. Oh, look at that. There's an archive right there. Well, that is convenient. We'll park at the lower platform at the archive. That's not a lower platform, and there's a tree. Literally growing out of the platform. How in the world did that happen? Okay, then. Well, that's all right. So there's our... And that way we can pull the ship in. Let's pull in our Minotaur. No, let's try that again. There. All right, we're done. Come on. Thank you. And we'll hit them from a distance. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and upset them. Eh, it sure is, isn't it? There we go. We only need to get one more walker. There we go. Really? Where are these guys going? Literally just tumbled. He's still traveling the wrong way and facing backwards. So is that going to get us good? That was really weird. It just like he forgot which way we, we were going. I don't want to go there.
Gotta get rid of the healers. Got him. Hopefully we'll get this done in just a couple minutes. How are we doing on our charge? Our charge is getting a little low. There we go. There, got him. Where is he going? Ugh, they're doing it again. I've got to go chase him down, unfortunately. Got him. Got him. Okay, and that's the walker we really want. Got him. Gotta get rid of the rest of these guys or they're just gonna follow me everywhere and since we're almost done... Who are we missing? Got him. Okay, that should do it. Let's head back to our ship. I'm not worried about any extra stuff we're getting out of these guys here. Okay, walkers are done. Let's double check. So one is complete, two is complete, three, except for the predator, is complete. And we're not going to do that. I have just about very very annoyed with that whole situation we're going to look into that later four is almost uh, is complete five let's go to our drop zone get this taken care of five minutes what do you think i think we can do it and there is our last last place Last place to go. Wish I could remember that system. I'll have to look back at my own video and check it out. <laughs> that was a nice system to be able to do that in. The dissonant planet was actually quite easy to do. And this planet was easy to do as well as far as getting those sentinels. As long as you can get one of those maps, those maps are so handy to get. Alright, here we go. Right in front of me. It's head there. So, with the exception of the Predator, the Predator is going to be one of those creatures that we're going to have to figure out because everybody seems to think Predator's here, Predator's there, but unless you have access, I think, to the um, to the servers down here, if we've lost our connection, then we're not going to be able to get that particular one. I think that's what's going on here. No harm in recharging. We got plenty of ammunition. There's nothing more to really fight except one brood mother. And then we're done. And these planets take a long time to get to. They always like to give us the planet furthest from in the system from where we are. Or where we need to be. Okay, let's bring it in. Alright, so which one is it going to be? 
Something over there? Or is it over here someplace? Ah, wait. That might be it. Hold on. I want to say it was up on a hill. Yep, that's the one. Got it. Okay, so we're going to get our orders here. Okay, get this real quick. Kind of in a rush now, because I want to try to finish. I wanted to finish this at 2.15, but I don't think we're going to do that. And as we are aware, let's go ahead and grab the fifth expedition reward, because we don't want it to think that we didn't actually do it this time. And before we go anywhere, let's get our final site. Where is it at? That way. Let's go ahead up. And off we go. And then we'll have one more spot to jump to, and then we're all done for the whole expedition. So we'll complete this probably in about another three to four minutes. Ops. We'll definitely be under two hours game time. We'll be nowhere near the hour and 40 record. Pretty sure we're going to be about five, ten minutes slower than that. There we go. Out we go. Done. Inside. At the terminal. And... There's that one done. We have one more thing to do. Okay. The last... Our expedition is the Swarm Song. We need to find that one last place. That way. It is... Hold on a second. Just had it up on my radar and now it's gone again. Let me check. There we go. It's that way. I bet you that's it, right? Let me guess. That's good. This is the spot. Didn't have to do that. Go in. And get the last testament. And here we go. This should complete the whole thing. Of course I've got to leave, because my inventory is full. Because I have crap in it that I don't need. Of course it is. Go ahead and get rid of them, some of this stuff so we don't have to worry about it. Done. Do I have to go through the whole thing again? Yes, I do. So make sure your inventory is empty before you go in here. At least you have some spots available. And there it is. So, the expedition completed. So, let's get in and out of our ship. 
There it is. Okay, there's our restore point saved. So just to go through this, one is complete, two is complete, three, with the exception of the Predator, because we're having trouble with that one, is complete. Four and five are all complete. So everything in this expedition is complete. We're going to go ahead and stop the timer now. And we're going to go out to the mode select. Now, I know the Predator is going to bother some of you. You're going to be like, well, you should have been able to find it. But I'm telling you, I have obviously found some very, very aggressive creatures, and it's not even registering because I don't have access to the servers right now for some reason. And I see a lot of people are having that issue lately. So hopefully that's something that will get fixed soon. Anyway, let's see what kind of time we ended up with. One hour and 54 minutes. I have a theory, just so you, some of you are aware, I think the escape menu is also broken. When you go into your escape menu to do things, I don't think it's pausing the game at all. So there is that. Just keep that in mind that that might be an issue too. But still, we're under two hours in speed running. So that's pretty good. So hopefully when we get together on Wednesday night, uh, we can actually do a speed run. We'll see what we can do then. Well, folks, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you like what you've been seeing. And any questions or comments, please put them in the comments area. You know, I do I at least acknowledge your responses. And if you do have questions or comments that require my response, I always respond back. Thank you very much, folks. Take care. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.